I guess there's really not one specific reason. I kind of just wanted to do it. Uh, so like I was pretty much stuck in my town my whole life and just wanted to do something different. I had friends that were Army, Marines, and Navy, and they all pointed me to the right direction was the Air Force. So I, I looked into it and, you know, I was like, why not? I was 23 at the time, so I did join late. I had tried college at first and it really wasn't working out. It's, I'm not a... I'm not a school type of person. So I just went into the cruise office and I was like, let's do this. And uh, within, within four weeks I was gone, so it was a pretty quick process. So I've been in the Air Force, Air Force for almost four and a half years. I'm an E4, senior airman. So I initially enlisted uh, as a four year and then I extended one extra year because I wasn't ready to get out. So um, I feel like I made the right decision. Four years was plenty of time. I'm not re-enlisting currently. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. So the technical name of my job is Munitions Technician, also known as Ammo and EIS. Uh, look that up if you don't know what that means. FSE code is 2WOX1. Uh, so I actually came in open contract. Um, I was never really in debt, so to say. Um, the process between the time I went to the cruise office and me actually shipping out was really, really fast. I'd say like within four weeks. Uh, so I went to MEPS, did all my stuff. I got cleared, came back, and I was actually waiting for an HVAC job. And so the, rec the recruiter knew this. So I came back from MEPS. Uh, a week later, he calls me up and he's like, hey man, there's a slot that just opened up for open mechanical and they're leaving in two weeks. And I, within three seconds, I just said yes. Like, I didn't even think about it. I just, pretty much I just wanted to leave. So I took an open mechanical. Seventh week of training, I think it was, when they give you a list of jobs to choose. Was there choosing, I don't even remember choosing ammo. I actually don't even remember what I chose, to be honest. Um, I'm glad I voted those uh, aircraft loader jobs because I didn't have any of those on my list, but. I got ammo. I really didn't know what it was. I've never even heard of it. I read the description and I was like, okay, like a like a factory job, not what I wanted, but build bombs, right? It's the fun part. It was not something that I wanted to do, but I feel like in the end it all worked out because I've honestly enjoyed this job so far. Um, I've got to do a lot of really cool things that people usually don't do. Um, and pretty much when somebody asks me what my like what I do in, in my job, the easiest way to explain is saying that we build bombs. And I mean, telling somebody that you build bombs, they kind of look at you like you're crazy. But yeah, we build the uh, we build the good bombs. I initially wanted to do uh, HVAC, and I'm so glad I didn't get HVAC because those guys work super hard in this heat. B station on Ellis, I mean. But uh, I wanted to do HVAC, you know, for the, mostly for the part of the outside skills that you get to take outside and uh, apply it to an actual job. Um, I also thought of doing medical, but I don't know. I'm just glad that I got ammo actually, because it all worked out pretty good in the end. I have no complaints. That was a tough choice actually. Um, four or six, I signed a four and I'm actually got glad I did because four years was plenty of time. I never thought about making this into a career and you know I thought well four years and get out um, earn some skills come up with a plan so I did end up extending in the end of the day I'll be doing five years but uh, yeah I'd say if you're unsure if you want to make this a career or not I think four years is the perfect amount of time and by that time if you've decided yes this is for me this is what I want then you could easily re-enlist for six six more years and you know, make it a career as opposed to if you sign for six and you don't like it the first year and you absolutely decide you don't want to pursue that as a career, then you got five years left. So I personally, I did four and it worked out just fine. <sighs> Tech school was Wichita Falls, Texas, the very northern part of Texas. Tech school was, I believe it's two months. Um, nothing too long, nothing too short. Uh, tech school, it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, it was definitely better than basic. Obviously, you have more freedom, but not way too much freedom. It's just enough for you to relax. I, I really didn't do anything crazy in tech school. I just, I kept it myself. I was uh, committed to learning my job and that's when I picked up uh, going to the gym. So I started going to the gym every day, eating, sleeping, 
and going to learn my job and that's pretty much it. A lot of people mess up when they go to uh, tech school because they feel the freedom and they just go crazy. And this is where a lot of people screw up their careers, end up getting kicked out, doing something stupid. So I decided to stay away from all that and just wait until I left tech school to do the crazy stuff. So with ammo, you could pretty much get stationed anywhere that has a fly line, that has aircraft, that has munitions, or that has any sort of of mission uh, because ammo we pretty much we take care of the Air Force's stockpile of munitions that that's our that's solely our job to keep accountability of it and maintain them so pretty much any base that has a fly line or any sort of ammunition there it's gonna have ammo so yeah we can get stationed pretty much anywhere in the US uh, Hawaii you can go to Korea Japan Germany, Italy. So uh, it's a pretty good gig if you want to travel a lot. I personally, I've only been to Nellis, which is Las Vegas, um, and it's my first base, and it's gonna be my last. Um, a lot of people don't like it. I personally, I I love it here. Uh, coming from Florida, moving to Las Vegas, it's a big change. It's a big city over here, and I just I absolutely love it. But at the end of the day, it's what you make of it. Whether you get Nellis or uh, I forgot one of those mountain bases, um, the cold ones, but uh, it's what you make of it at the end of the day. And I've seen plenty of people leave through the Korea route. So they come here, they don't like it, they want to leave. Two or three years later, they're going to Korea for one year and then getting stationed at their base of preference after that. So yeah, so a lot of travel opportunity if that's what you want to do. Uh, this, one's, this one's kind of hard since we do a lot of things, but in a nutshell, we build bombs. Uh, not just that, but there's so there's so many shops you can work there. You can end up in on a desk job working a computer all day, or you can end up as a, as a crew chief doing bomb builds, uh, delivering ammunition to the flight line. A typical day for me, I guess, uh, I'm a crew chief, not like a, a crew chief of the planes. We're in charge of uh, running our crews and running operations. I'd say the general gist of it, we're in charge of accountability, serviceability, inspection, and delivery of munitions. Uh, making sure all the ammo is good to go for the pilots and then making sure that uh, everything's there where it's supposed to be the, the right amount. And then when it's ready to go, we build everything up obviously and we send it out to the flight line or to, who, to whoever needs these ammunitions there's a lot more to it you can get special jobs special duties okay advice for a new airman it's all about the mindset keeping a positive mindset uh i run into a lot of people that have gotten there absolutely hate their job and just their life is miserable but you know just ex accept it embrace the suck make the best of it it's really not a bad job and if you really decide ammo is not for you then you always got that chance to cross train or just get out at the end of it but just accept it you're there uh learn as much as you can about your job master it be really good at it and from there you'll have a good experience obviously you'll have some bad supervisors and bad leadership but everybody's experience is different um i personally i've had an awesome experience i've met great people i've got the chance to deploy uh do on the guard a bunch of cool stuff so so take those chances while you're in to, to learn, to make friends, to develop skills. Uh, so then hopefully if, if you don't want to make it a career, take it outside with you, you know, uh, come up with a plan. And if you do want to make it a career, that's great because ammo, it's such a tight knit community there. Like everybody's real close to each other. We may talk crap about each other sometimes, but that's all. Uh, that's the name of the game. Um, you'll go through some stuff with people, you know, good and bad, but... You just build that camaraderie. If you don't drink a lot, when you join ammo, you're gonna drink a lot. And you'll be going to ammo calls, ammo bowls, all types of events. Um, and I can honestly say it's it's been a great time. Uh, I have about six or seven months left and I'm gonna separate. So I'm going through that process, but I'm, on, I'm honestly gonna miss it. But it's time to take it, take my life to the next level. So I, I do have a YouTube channel that I actually just started and I don't have any content on it yet, but I do plan on working on it.